Hello everyone, my name is Abby and today we are here to do a very different video. This is the first time I have ever done this type of video on my channel and this is a book unhaul. So I have come to the realization that I have acquired a lot of books over the past year and I have done two pretty big purchases in the in the past like two months between Black Friday and Christmas slash like Boxing Day with all the coupons and things that have been going on between that entire time and I have almost all of my boxes actually here beside me that I'm going to be using to film my book haul for my Christmas slash Boxing Day haul that's gonna be going up next week on my channel but so I'm still waiting on a couple more before I'm gonna open all these up and do a video but I realized that between those two holidays so many books have come to my collection and unfortunately in my room that I am staying in right now the amount of bookshelves that I have I'm at the max I can't purchase any more bookshelves and have them all fit comfortably in this room and it's really really sad but that means that I need to kind of keep track of how many books that I have and the spacing for all of those books so yesterday I actually rearranged my room around for those of you that hang out on this channel you guys probably know that I do that a lot I'm constantly moving my furniture around and I think I have finally found the way that I like to have it, the way I'm going to keep it for a while. So I have this one bookshelf here up against the wall and I actually have put my three other bookshelves in the middle of the room up against my bed that is kind of helping almost separate my room into two sections. And I'm, it looks great from one side, from my bedside in the back of my bookshelves I really need to get like a tape, like a tapestry or just something to cover the back panels of these bookshelves but besides that it looks great but as I was taking all of those books off of my bookshelves to move them I decided to go through all of the books as I was putting them back on my shelves and kind of went through every single book description and whether I've read it or not and if I'm interested in reading it if I'm honestly thinking I'm ever gonna read it and the books that I am going to be either giving away or storing from my cousin I put all of them on this bookshelf behind me so we are going to go through all of the books that I have on here, where they're going to go, what I'm going to do with them, and kind of my reasonings behind why I'm giving them away. Because a lot of them aren't bad books, they're just ones that aren't for me. A lot of them are. So let's go ahead and get into all the books that I have behind me. So this entire top shelf, for the, for the most part, all of these I'm going to be donating to my local library. Because a lot of the books that I have down here are either books that friends have given me or are books that I want to give to my cousin. So the first book that I'm going to be giving away is Where It Began by Anna Stampler. And you're going to kind of notice a reoccurring theme in this video. You're going to notice that a lot of the books that I'm giving away are contemporaries. And that is because the books that I am keeping that are contemporaries are for the most part either ones that I've already read and really really like or stories that just seem to be a little bit more higher up in plot. Like I did a lot of research on some of these books like what are the ratings and what do people think about them and a lot of these are more romancy, very um, low like low action just very sweet stories and that is just not the mindset that I am in for my books right now and I haven't been in for a while so I know that these are kind of just not books I'm ever going to really find myself reading and I want to make room for all of the new books that I have coming so like I said the first one is where it began so this one is all about a girl named Gabby who she pretty much gets like a makeover and before she had this makeover she kind of lived unrealized by a lot of her peers around her and then as soon as she gets this makeover she becomes like very popular and meets this guy named Billy and they start dating for a while until one day she wakes up and can't remember anything and Billy is missing and the story is pretty much just Gabby trying to figure out what exactly happened has she been dreaming the entire thing and what is going on in her life now and it sounds interesting but again this is just really not seem like a book that I am gonna be interested in 
reading. So this is the first one that's going to be heading off to the library. So another big portion of these stories are all of my Sarah Dessen books. These are all the books that I own by her. Some of them are in hardback, some of them are in paperback, and she is pretty much known as the queen of contemporary. You know, all of her books are very, very good. She is a fantastic writer, but again, I've only read a few of them and I've enjoyed them, but like I said, me and contemporaries are just not very um, simpatico right now is I guess a good way to say. Not a genre that I'm reading a lot of right now. A lot of these are from my friend Jill, so I'm gonna ask her if she wants them back before I send them away, um, as well as some of the ones on this shelf. Some of them are from Brianna, some are from Jill. So I'm definitely gonna ask if any of them want their books back, otherwise I will donate them. But I appreciate the, my, these friends giving these books to me. I loved having them on my shelves, but it is time to make room for some newer books. So yeah, so all of these I have Just Listen, Along for the Ride, Lock and Key, Someone Like You, The Truth About Forever, What Happened to Goodbye, The Moon and More, and Saint Everything. So the next book that I'm giving away is another one just because it again is a contemporary for the most part. This is this is 16th Summer by Maureen Dolly and this one is about a girl named Angie and she pretty much has this belief that high school romances are what we see on TV. But then she meets this boy named Jack and he slowly starts to prove her wrong that romances can go beyond high school but then they come to this point where they were together for all summer and now fall is back and they have to figure out if it is worth staying together or not. So again it seems like such a good read but right now like I said my heart lies with the high fantasies and all of that stuff so going ahead and donating this along as well. So then we'll go ahead and talk about these four books really fast. The first one is Forever Princess by Meg Cabot. And I basically got this book because this is supposed to be the Princess Diaries. That's what this one goes along with. And I've come to realize that there is much more to the series than this book. There is like a bunch of them on the back page and this is like the tenth book in the series actually. So it would be, so for me this is just kind of not um, a book series I see myself getting into anytime soon. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. So next is Struck by Lightning by Chris Colfer. Now I really enjoyed this book when I read it. I like it a lot but that's kind of it for me this is not really a book I want to really keep on my shelves. I thought that it was good. I adore Chris Colfer. I loved him ever since he was on Glee and I always love supporting him. I don't see myself rereading this and so I'm gonna go ahead and slide it on off and let someone else enjoy it as much as I did. Then next I have it's Glenn's Falls book one. This is by um, Melinda Schlegel. I always say her name wrong and I always feel so bad whenever I mention this book. This is really really hard for me because it was sent to me for free by the author and it was very very sweet of her too and I wound up getting through about a hundred pages of this book before I found that this book is just not really for me. It did it on unfortunately just had a really hard time keeping my interest and I think and it was also really hard because I tried reading this back in November or something like that and I really didn't get very far in it could have been because there were so many other books that like new books that I was so excited to read this book kind of just slid under my radar and I wound up putting it down in order to pick up some of the newer books and I don't really see myself picking this book back up so I am hoping that if I can send it to the library someone else will find it and will love it. Then the other kind of standalone book that I have is This Is How You Lose Her by Jonay Diaz and this book kind of goes through a bunch of different types of relationships and people. They're kind of almost like short stories and I didn't get through all of this book before again I put it down in order to read some of the other more well-known books. I know, shame on me, shame. I should not let pre-ordered books, you know, affect me as much as they do, but it happens. This is unfortunately one of the books that got kind of shoved under the rug, um, just like some other books did. Like, I know a couple of you guys have probably saw that I still haven't finished the third book in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children because the same thing happened to that book. I was in the middle of reading that one, and then, oh, I don't remember what book it was that came out that snapped my attention, but this is another one of the ones that sadly got 
defeated in the uh, challenge of this versus pre-orders. So now we're gonna get into some of the series that I have up here that I'm going to be giving away. The first series that I have is, this is the Chemical Garden Trilogy. First one is Sever, second is Fever, and third is Wither. And I said those completely out of order, but that's okay. So in this world, it is pretty much all about the fact that thanks to pretty much like new science, people do not live as long as they used to. So people have started kidnapping different teenage girls and using them into poly marriages to kind of to kind of help the population from dying out so the first book focuses about around a girl named Ryan Ellery and pretty much she kind of hasn't made she goes into a family where her husband is genuinely falling in love with her and her sister wives seem to be very sweet and trusting of her and are just trying to make a happy life for her but her only her only goal is to escape and find her twin brother and so you follow along with her and then I'm assuming she's probably gonna catch up with him at some point in these books so you get to follow along in their adventures as they just try to stay free and I'm sure there's so many more like subplots and stuff along with that but again this series just does not seem like a series I'm going to get to anytime soon and I have so many other books coming and that I know I'll probably never get to this series. So I'm going to go ahead and send this along. It does sound like such an interesting read, but I have some that I'm even more interested in. So the next series is one that I really kind of struggled with going back and forth, back and forth on whether or not I wanted to keep it. And that is this series by CJ Redwine. We have Defiance, Deliverance, and Deception. And I think I said those out of order as well, but that's okay. Um, we have this series and I didn't know whether or not I wanted to keep this one or not. I thought that it sounded really, really cool when I read the inside of the dust jackets. And But at the same time, it's, this is kind of the same thing as the Chemical Garden trilogy. It's just one of those series that I do not see myself picking up anytime soon and I would rather save the space for these three for a new series that I, for new series that I know I'm going to be a little bit more interested in reading than these. So this series kind of revolves around two people. The first one being Rachel Adams and she is kind of living the life of luxury and in this world all the women of the court and of the way that they live have male protectors that keep them safe and when her father dies the commander of their world assigns Rachel a new protector. The new protector is the same one that Rachel fell in love with a couple years ago whom she told that she loved and he kind of said thanks but no thanks. So Rachel decides to escape and try to find her father on her own but this protector and this boy that she was in love with Logan decides to go with her so it's pretty much the two of them against the world and that pretty much just continues the story of them trying to find her father and then watching the story continue from there. So again, it sounds really interesting and CJ Redwine is a really really good author, it's just this series I'm... I do not see myself reading this series, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it along. So the next series that I am going to be passing along is the Looking Glass Wars series by Frank Bedore. When I saw that I had this book, I went ahead and decided to pick up the other two without even reading the first one. And when I started, and I probably read like the first two chapters of this series, and it sounded interesting but this is just one of those series that I kind of know I'm really not going to get around to kind of like this kind of like the first two series I just mentioned simply because I'm not like it's not like I'm over the princess retellings but there are like I said earlier just a lot of other series that I'm going to be wanting to read more and I just want to make the space so I'm going to go ahead and pass these along as well okay so then the other books that I have in here the first ones are the first three books of Harry Potter I planned on saving these from my cousin in case she ever wanted to read them but then the illustrated editions of Harry Potter started coming out and I know I'm definitely gonna want her to read the series that way starting out so I wish she can see the beautiful illustrations and just how amazing the Harry Potter world is so I don't really have a need for these anymore considering I have the Harry Potter books in hardback and I am completely fine with keeping it that way so I'm gonna go ahead and send the first three books along all right and then the last series that is for sure 
going to the library is this series right here. This is the Water Song series by Amanda Hawking. This series is kind of kind of happened the same way that the Looking Glass Wars happened. I bought one of them in the bargain priced section of Books a Million and then thought that it sounded interesting so I picked up the other three that went along with it without actually reading maybe the first one because I picked up Elegy which is actually the third book in this which is actually the fourth book in the series first the first one is wake and then you have lullaby then you have title and then elegy so then the next ones i have are just kind of books that i've just had for a while either due to school or anything like that the first one that i have is shakespeare the sonnets and narrative poems the complete non-dramatic poetry i have this one and then i have the immortal poems of the english language and i have the perks of being a wallflower but this is like a much smaller edition and if I decide to get this book I've already read the book and I really like it but if I decide I want to have one of these on my shelves I think I'm going to go ahead and get the hardback just so it can stay like in the rainbow section of my bookshelf so then these next couple books are all books that belong to my friend Brianna so if she wants them back they're going to her otherwise they will probably be heading on to the library as well first one being Elixir by Hilary Duff this one just it's I thought that it, I added it to my bookshelf from her because I was very intrigued to hear what Hilary Duff could possibly have to write and then I read the first couple chapters of this when I first got it and it was just not keeping me interesting. The The language and the writing in this story seemed, seemed very simple and while that's not always a bad thing, this book just it didn't have anything for me to like clutch on. It didn't have any characters that I fell in love with. It just seemed very average. And I hate, I hate saying things against books, but it just, it is, it is what it is. And this book was not a very favorite of mine. I didn't wind up finishing it. And so I'm going to go ahead and pass this one on. And then the next book that I have is Rift by Andrea Creamer. And this one is actually, when I when I first started to read this I was actually I was really confused because it turns out that this is a prequel to a series that's already out called the Nightshade series I still I read like the first couple chapters and I still don't really understand exactly what this book is about and I'd probably bet that if I would read the Nightshade series it would probably all make a lot of sense and I would like it a whole lot more but I'm just not really a big fan so I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on and then the other one I have is Wings by April Lynn Pike and this one I this one for the most part I actually kept just because it is a fairy book it actually has like fairy like winged fairies it's not like the fae like there are in a lot of the other books that I have this is just fairies and I think I kept it for so long because I wanted to be able to have a fairy book on my shelves but I've never actually read it I know that April Lynn Pike gets pretty good reviews but Again, this is just not a book I'm going to find myself reading. So back to Brianna it goes or to the library. All right, and then the last series that I'm going to be um, either, either giving back to friends or giving away to the library is this series. This is the Beautiful Creatures series by Kimmy Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And the whole reason why I got this series was because I had the first one um, and I finished the book and was actually interested in it but I remembered loving the movie so much more but I posted an Instagram picture about saying how finish the book want to read the next one and then like not even an hour later Brianna texted me saying hey I have the full series if you want it and I was like bless you so I got them from her and I just never read them so I'm going to go ahead and either give it back to her or we'll be heading on to the library. So I have two more series here on my shelves. I have my house I have my House of the Night series and then I have the first five books in the Land of Stories by Chris Colfer, which are all of these. I love this series. I've only read the first three, but I think that they are fantastic and I want to give these to my cousin. I already gave her the Series of Fortune Events books and she liked them, so I think that she might like these as well. So I'm going to let her read the first one, see what she thinks about it. If it's not for her, I'll go ahead and send them on to the library. But if she likes them, then I'll go ahead and give her the rest.
rest of them. And then this last series that I have, like I said, is the House of the Night series. This is by PC Cast and Kristen Cast, and I really, really like this series, so I kind of think I might put them up and like into storage or something and hold on to them so that way when Alex gets a little bit older she can read them and see for herself if she likes them because I think they're a fun series and so maybe when she's in middle school don't I just don't want to give them away quite yet so I think they're gonna go in storage along with some of the other book series that I already have saved for her but yeah so those are all of the books that I am planning to give away and after I hear back from Brianna and Jill I'm probably gonna go ahead and just stuff all of these either all of them in a storage container or kind of you know put them in order depending on if they want any of them back and get them on out of here so yeah thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you hit that subscribe button leave me some comments down below if you have read any of this any of these books if you guys like them and all of that fun stuff and I will see you guys in my next video goodbye <laughs>